Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to share with you how you can uh, copy a data from, from a table on a website like this one for example and uh, generate a JSON out of it like, uh, like this one that you see right here uh, where I see the country uh, and the GDP like uh, Algeria here with the, its GDP. So let's get started. Um, for this example I uh, went to Wikipedia and I just write Africa and uh, click on the economy section and this is the table that I would like to have okay so right click go to uh, inspect where the whole thing is gonna start here okay I'm just gonna get it okay great first thing uh, to do is click on the little arrow here and click on the first cell of the table when you do that it will appear here on the element side and go and grab this one the T body okay notice that there is this uh, dollar sign zero what that means if you go to console and I just have to write a dollar zero what I see is the table so it's like uh, Google Chrome uh, allows me to access the entire table just by selecting it and it is saved in this uh, variable called uh, or this variable that I, it's the dollar sign dollar sign zero okay that's great so how can I get the data out of it because as you can see here it's a still HTML elements it's not the data that I would like to have like uh, the JSON here they showed you earlier so to do this there is a little trick and uh, here it is oh, I'm gonna just uh, close this one yeah so what I have done here basically is just uh, I created uh, a variable called uh, the whole table and dollar sign dollar sign parentheses uh, TR and after that here is my little guy uh, the dollar sign zero and why I have done this is just to copy the information from the dollar sign zero to the whole table. So if I go with the whole table, click enter, you see it's the same thing. I have this table here, but it's uh, it's an object. It's not an element like this one. So it's easily accessible and easily, um, if you use JavaScript, it's very easy to get data out of it. But still, it's not the data that I would like to have right away. Okay, so the next thing to do, I have done it earlier also, it's to set this uh, code. And what it does, it's very simple. I am using a variable here, an object uh, of an array. And uh, there is a loop where I go in each section of the whole table and I copy the information so let me break it down for you here to be easily understandable okay the first thing I do it's uh, this is my object and I build for each element of that object it's like another object inside I build uh, an object on the fly with the country and GDP as properties and after that I go in each cell of the whole table and I copy it the first one here and the second one here so just for for the record I'm just gonna copy this one here I'm gonna show you something cool uh, I'm gonna skip this one but I'm gonna do it later if I go like this and I'm gonna remove that and I go with zero what that means I'm pointing here in the first cell okay I skip that part sorry and if I click, you see there is a rank. If I go to the second one, or let's say I'm gonna write one, I'm gonna see country. Why? Because the whole table, as I said, is a table. And every part here or cells, it's easily accessible by this line of code. Okay? And uh, the last trick I'm gonna show you here. When you write inner text, it's just for elements to copy or to display the information inside okay now this one because there was an e here I'm just gonna replace it with zero okay country because we are pointing here I'm pointing on that part of the table this cell 
and I would like to have what is inside. And what's inside is calculate, right? The second thing that I want to show you too, if I go with the same thing, let's say that I would like to point here. So this is the second line and the third column. So the second line, so I go with one because it starts with zero, don't forget that. And the third column is number two because this is how it works, like zero, one, two, right? zero one two three four and, uh, and so on if i do this and i click enter i still have the information but this is a string it's not a value it's not a number it's a string and i have to convert it to a value so that's why there is this uh, little string here so i'm going to show you if i go with this one here i'm going to copy the whole line to make it uh, easy for you you can see if I push it here right now what will happen oh sorry again because I didn't replace the E here so we're gonna write uh, wait a second it's like I would like to have the third column in the second line uh, that's the second line that oh I'm good here so if you press you see I have a number why I have done two things here the first thing is to uh, the the string here I uh, parse it to be a float, okay? And the second thing I did also is to change all the um, uh, comma here, because you see here a lot of commas here. I replaced them with nothing. So that's what I did. So uh, I said, okay, whatever inside here, the comma and everything, replace it with nothing. Otherwise, it would have a big trouble because I would have like a, uh, a number with uh, this, um, comma and yeah and if I don't do this I'm going to show you something okay, I'm going to remove this little guy here you see it takes only the first one because in um, for this uh, the uh, the parse float it goes like okay oh I, I have a string great and um, I have to uh, parse it or transform it to uh, a number oh there is one and a uh, comma oh, I'm gonna take only the first part right but when you do this replace and the whole uh, things here is going to replace the whole comma with nothing. And at the end, I have, it's like I had this. I'm going to go here. Look, I'm going to remove this one and remove this one. It's like a string without comma. And after that, if I use the float here, let's, uh, let's do it for you guys. Let's see. Because I really like this one. And uh, that's the most important part of this. And here it. It, you know, it works right so let's do that uh, or wait a second I'm gonna clean that because it's like too much to follow I clean it here I'm gonna go back to my uh, nice loop and uh, here it is okay basically there as I said there is an object uh, as an array and then go inside uh, for each element of the of the object array I create another object with a country and GDP as properties and they are uh, and they are empty right now and I go I grab the first uh, information from the cell like here like uh, the name and I put it on the name on the country and the second one is the GDP as I said before with all these little tricks here to remove the comma and make it a nice value uh, the next thing to do is to click on enter now if I write thumb up that's my uh, up and here it is I have all the information here right it's cool huh? yeah. now how can I get this out of um, uh, Google Chrome another cool trick you just you have to write copy and inside here I write my little guy here and I press enter so if I go back here and uh, let me create another one uh, JS Fiddle and uh, I go with right click and paste here it is. Here's my JSON with all the information. Why? Because I wrote this line of code to copy the, the object in the clipper. So I can go here and paste it anywhere else and I get the information. I hope this tutorial will help you because it helped me a lot. I um, get a lot of information from websites. So instead of using Excel, I'm just using these uh, small tricks to get the right information very fast and very easy. 
Anyhow, uh, let me know your thought and if you have any questions or you have a better ways to do it, I would be happy to know about that. Uh, have a nice day and take it easy. Bye.